watching Unrest again across the country tonight. We are monitoring hot spots. We have got reporters from coast to coast. We want to check in with Kevin Cork, who has been outside the White House where it started. He said peacefully earlier today at what you're looking at live now there. Uh, in within uh, view of the White House is a totally different story tonight as the looming 11 p.m. curfew uh, is coming. Uh, Kevin, let's check in and see what uh, your take is on whether that's actually going to happen tonight. Well, you're unfortunately, Shannon, seeing a, a terrible scene. Fires burning here along H Street. We do smell. Oh, boy. <coughs> oh, boy. We're getting tear gassed. And uh, unfortunately, I can add uh, just a moment ago, it does appear that St. John's Church is on fire. The parish office, uh, we went downstairs and it is on fire. I'm going to walk this way. And uh, this is awful. We saw graffiti. Once the door was broken, we saw something similar happen earlier. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's definitely a fire here. This is the parish office. Here, come on back. Come on back. Come on back up. That's good. So they're trying to clear the area, Shannon, with uh, oh, with the pepper spray and with the tear gas to try to clear people. Anything we can do to get it out? No, I don't know that there's anything we can do to put that out. I didn't see an extinguisher. Uh, we're back out here on 8th Street. Eyes are burning a bit, as you can imagine, as they're trying to disperse the crowd, hopefully to get fire uh, personnel over here to try to put out some of these fires, Shannon. It's a... Uh, it's a sad scene. This is a beautiful church, historic, as you know. We're only in the parish office, uh, but uh, St. John's Church is uh, a landmark in many ways, so it's very difficult to see this uh, building go up in flames. So hopefully they can get here and uh, put out the fire. That's what we see right now. Shannon, back to you. Yeah. And and Kevin, so people know that is an historic church that's just across Lafayette Park from the White House. Numerous presidents, dozens of presidents have sat in those pews. They have gone there in times of national trouble. They've gone there for regular Sunday services. Um, for generations and generations, presidents and their families have walked across Lafayette Park and gone and sat in the pews of St. John's. Um, it's somewhere usually on, uh, on Inauguration Day. You'll see them go there and have a prayer service. Um, welcoming in the new administration. Uh, it is something that has been done as tradition for a long, long time.